Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm going to do a Dutch pour on a split base using green. Now I love green, green's one of my favourite colours and I don't feel like I'm using it enough. So I want to go back to basics, I want to do a green pour, well a green base with some interesting colours on top. I'm really excited to show you the colour palette and if you're not a fan of green, please stick around because I might try and change your mind about using green in a future creation that you're going to be doing. So let's see what we can create. So these are going to be my two colours that I use for my base colours. I'm going to do a split base. I am using pouring medium as well as water, but I will put all of the ratios and all the names of the paints that I'm using in the description box below. So check those out. I love this rich green colour. I have painted my sides, so I'm going to go for the pale olive in the middle with the other green on either side. So let me show you the colour palette that I'm going to use. So I do have a brown, I have a pearl white, I have an iridescent gold and a pearl marmalade. So let me just show you these colours and consistencies. I really love that. That's like a, that's a bit like a bronze colour, but I really love that colour. Obviously, the iridescent gold is one of my most favourite gold tones by Pebio. And I've got a pearl white. I didn't want to just go for a, a standard titanium white because I do love that shimmer that the pearl white does give. And brown. I think we shy away from brown, but I wanted to use that in today's colour palette. So if you've supported me for a while, you'll know that I always say, if you can get your base coat consistent, then the rest will just flow. So what I'm doing is I wanted a split base and I wanted to use two colours, both of a green tone. Now, all of these are listed in the description box below, so check that out for more information. But I'm just using my blow dryer to get good coverage on the canvas and a consistent flow of paint on the surface. So it's now about adding the colours. And I want to add the colours of the colour palette where the two greens meet each other on the split base. So I'm adding one colour at a time. You can see there I've started with the brown on one side and the marmalade colour on the other. You'll notice that I have sped up the video. I don't want you to get bored, but I do want you to see the full process. So that's the pearl white that I'm now layering. And then on top of that pearl white, I'm just adding some of that precious gold. That's going to really help those colours pop. And then I'm just adding the alternative colour that I didn't layer on that side in the first place. So I've now got all of my colours. I think that's enough paint. There's enough paint on there. But I'm just going to add a little bit more of the base colour, the greens, just to help with that flow of paint by adding enough base colour will ensure when that blow dryer meets the paint, it will help it glide across the canvas with the power from the hairdryer. You'll see here, I'm just using a torch. I do that to pop any air bubbles. When I mix up my paints, I do it all by hand and there's sometimes some air bubbles. So it's really important for me to pop those before I start blowing out the design. So I've just blown some of the base colour into the other colours we've layered and I'm going to blow that out now with the blow dryer. The blow dryer itself is on a cool setting and the lowest speed. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to blow the paint out across the canvas and down the edges. When you do this, just sometimes step back and see what overall composition you're creating. And then that will kind of give you an indication of the movement that it's going to create and how far out you want the paint to be blown. You'll see here that I do an initial blow with the hairdryer and then I will blow it out even further to cover more of that negative space that's on the background. But first of all, I just want to see how this moves, how the creation starts forming, so I can then decide which areas to blow out further and stretch further across the canvas with the hairdryer. So you'll see here, I'm just extending those areas with the blow dryer. I want that to cover more of the deeper green area. That's just going to help with the overall composition, the perspective and the movement of those pieces. Okay, so I'm happy with this. So I'll take you in now just so you can see the wet version. I'll show you some of the details. You can see how some of these colors have infused together, how there's been some cell reaction just across this full piece. And what I really love is how the darker edges of this piece are that green tone and then that light olive within the middle really helps that pop of those colors across both of those edges where those two greens meet. And I really do love this color palette. I love the marmalade color that's shining through. There's a peak of that brown too, and not too much gold. I didn't want the gold to take over this piece, but I did want to create a very earthy vibe by using this color palette and those greens for the split base. I will of course let this dry and I'll take you in for a look at the dry version. So here we are, the dry version, I really love it. There has been a little bit of splitting with the paint but you know what? I could tell in those areas that I had too much paint. And what's happened is the paint layers have dried at different rates. Therefore, there's been a slight splitting on the surface. But you know what? I'm just embracing that. It's fine. And I think it just adds to the appeal of this piece with it being an earthy vibe. I'm happy with that. If you've enjoyed this video and the videos that I create, please feel free to subscribe it's free to do so. And if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. I would really appreciate that. I'll leave you now with some of these details. You can see how these tones have dried and how by having a split base can really add to that 3D feel from this piece. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And I hope I get to see you again in the next video. Have a great week, everyone, and take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Bye.